Hey there, welcome to another episode of Olympics with a Roy. <laughs> Today, I'm excited, well, I am excited, but I'm also quite sad. Because you see, there has been an injustice. As many of you know, there is a diving competition in the Olympics. There's like the normal dive, and then there's like synchronized diving, and then there's like synchronized swimming. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff. But one thing is very, very unfortunate. There are no cannonball competitions. Now, I just think this is very wrong because I am a good diver, but I am a great cannonballer. I just jump up there and it's like, boom, and all the water goes out of the pool and everybody's like, oh no. Those are the people that are on the side of the pool because they're like drenched. <laughs> but anyways, it is very disappointing that there's no cannonball competition. I mean, can you imagine people jumping at big splashes and me there handing out umbrellas? I just like walk up to people beforehand and be like, here you go, buddy, you're gonna need this. The guy will be like, I don't see why I would need that. And then all of a sudden I jump and he's like, <gasps> It's a tidal wave. And I'd be like, see, buddy? <laughs> I do quite an amazing cannonball. Some people say that it's the best in the world. <laughs> but I guess we won't know. Because there's no Olympic event. Just gonna have to go on telling people that some people think I do a good cannonball. So, just think about it a little bit, Olympic Committee. Make sure that next time around, in 2028, I can be doing cannonballs. And I won't disappoint you. Let me tell you, <laughs> I'll be doing cannonballs for a long time. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Olympics with Roy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.